the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle! It's not important! This place reeks of the dead. The fallen star must be near. Prophecy sent me in search of the star that fell on this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. 
Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Cain into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Th Watch out! The wounded are turning! This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. What can I do to help you fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Thanks for the warning, but I won't be dying today. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! There! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I don't have enough arcane power. While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably. As I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this and new Tristram before it's too late. to the attacks, at least for now.
Lord Tristram. Diablo himself once walked this place. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. If my old master could see me now. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What about your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demon. Cellar. Follow me. I think there was more to your mother than you know. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will search the cathedral. You stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. of Khejistan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. 
But these crusaders went east on a very different mission. More arcane power. My name is Lashdanan, and I am cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Those are some big mushrooms. Foul minions, stay back! Back! May this ledge hold. The skeleton king? The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! You, but why did you risk yourself for me? You live. Fortune smiles on you, old man. I'm here to bring you back to Leah. 
Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Cain. Now, all that stands between me and the fallen star is the Skeleton King, who has returned to darken Tristram once again. I promised Marco I'd bring Uncle, him. you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Our time is running short. What can you tell me about the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid. Though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle. Not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. If my old master could see me now. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. The Oryx's tale is sad, but I am here to find the Fallen Star, and the Skeleton King stands in my way. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should know this. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wound. Did you hear? Old Rumford has a stand to operation. Blacksmith, Deckard Cain said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. That's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? I know it will be difficult, but she would want you to do it. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. Friends, I'm sorry. You are helping them. You don't need to be sorry. Mira, my love, forgive me. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. Well, Hedrig, Deckard Cain told me you know where Leoric's crown is. I can help you there. It's buried with his Chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Look, I'm happy to sell to you, but you got to promise not to tell anyone where you got these goods from, okay? Yeah. <laughs> 
need arcane power. How does that feel? Need more arcane power. I need arcane power. I don't have enough arcane power. This is the wrong crypt. The crown isn't here. I 
I need arcane power. More arcane power. Looks like a crypt fit for a chancellor. The crown must be here. enough arcane power. No! I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world! You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. There. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. Then help me. I will use your handiwork for great things. I have the crown. How do I reach the Skeleton King? Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the Skeleton King, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. The Skeleton King dies today. I must find the Fallen Star. more time.
see me now. Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear, and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement, and sent us off to die. Not accept this. It's not my time to die. Maintain your incantations. You will Ave Magistros. Ave Your magic is weakening. I am free! Now, back to my mission. Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I have unfinished business with the Skeleton King. As do I. The cultists dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? Down this way! He's free! Do not let- I am Cormac, warrior of the Templar Order. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, 
Then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt alone. I suppose not. A strong spirit my side could prove helpful. Magic bars our way, but the will of a Templar is stronger. You were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this coven? The coven is my brotherhood. Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Thank you for your aid. I will go with you on your hunt for the Skeleton King, but there is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. That is agreeable, though I wouldn't mind taking a look at them. Then onwards we go, to fight the Skeleton King. May the battles never end! Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Liard. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. Into my tomb! We shall put you down, Hellspawn!
We have just arrived in Tristram, and I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken-down monastery, hardly fit for the King of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. You will never defeat me! <laughs> You were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. Finally, the crater. It was you that fell from the sky? I don't believe that you are the source of the evil in this place. I am. I... It was. I... I remember falling. Then who are you? Why are you here? I am not. Your enemy, I think, yes, I, I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness, the darkness is coming, I must, I don't remember. I should bring you back to town. Cain will know what to do with you. I have traveled far. Only to find that the fallen star was a man. Who is he? Why has he come? He recalls nothing. But Cain may have the answers. This is what fell out of the sky. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Tell me everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power, it was part of me, but it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The Goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the Goatmen to madness. The Goatmen won't stand in my way. I'll get the sword. It 
think there's a sword here, we will find it. of the sword I'm looking for must be in this cave. Kill her! We must hurry with the ritual! Manga will be here soon! It is turning. This glows with the stranger's magic. Who are you to take what is mine? Yours? I believe you are mistaken. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. To hell with you, witch! Very well. Let the games begin. Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. I am returning to town. We are not the only ones seeking the sword. I had to take the first piece from a witch named Magda and her crazed minions. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Magda taunted me, claiming to know where the next piece is. She said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. 
Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle in the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. power. Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something! Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! What do they want with your friend? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. Where is the relic? I'm sworn to secrecy! Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. The light grows stronger within you. You won't get away from us this time! <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the Thieves' Guild will find you. Here's the relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat... Uh, children... But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You're coming with me? Yes, yes! You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way! Wait, the relic is a fake! Gods, I should have known! You seem like you could use a helping hand. And I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal's proposal. What have you betrothed? Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Linden. What the tomes say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Decker told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients within them. A pall of ancient doom hangs upon these woods. Are these Alaric's Uncle 
Deckard called these flying creatures death of wings. Repel them! Like I spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Deckard. This brings back memories. I too enjoy hunting evil creatures through strange new lands. I was talking about happy memories. As was I. says that our people can survive the coming battle, but I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon of honor? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest above, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Searching for lost artifacts to come to death. Not ready. How does that feel? Whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers. But the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall.
I miss Chaldeum. What do you miss about it? It's such an open and beautiful city. It thrives on trade and new ideas. There was always something new and exciting to hear or see. The temple is open. Enter and defeat the Guardians within. Although they are my brothers, they will seek your death when you enter. I cannot fault them for doing their duty. None may enter the inner sanctum. Brothers, rise and do that. Rivals that of our greatest champions. What now do you think you are? You may enter our most sacred place. The spirit speaks the truth. This was a the noble hero fought her way here just to die. Magda. And who is this you bring with? Adria's daughter. She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your fate, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood! What did she mean, my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? She wants to torment you. Don't listen to her. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight was too easy. She is toying with us. We must get back to Uncle Deckard right away. Stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures. We were only a step ahead of Magda, but now we have the second sword piece. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah, brilliant dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. I like you. You know the oh, truth. Oh, there you? she goes again. Were I not a happily married man? I was thinking. Don't hurt yourself. I need to take the ferry to Wortham. I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. They're destroying the town! Get out there! To those who defy! These cultists come willingly to their death. Magda is in here. Please! My family's hiding in the chapel with the rest of the townsfolk. We must get to them! Don't run off! You'll get yourself killed! Fools! You cannot keep the sword from me! This is bad. My servants will burn this town to ashes! There's something coming. Need more time. Oh, 
worthy opponent. I seek a sword hilt that fell from the sky. It glows with a powerful magic. Do you know of it? We found it days ago. I wish we'd never brought it here. Come, I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. I'm going back to Tristram to check on Uncle Deckard. Damn, it's not here. While you were on your hero's errand here, I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house. It's your choice, Kane. Either use your Herodric art to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. <sighs> oh, this pain, this destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. <laughs> Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round, but if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Uncle, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword. Must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle Deckard! If only I could control this power, I could have saved him. Do not blame yourself. Magda is the one who must pay for Cain's death. Magda, and her master Belial. The journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. I don't know if he's an angel or a man, but the sword will restore his memory. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the Highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. She can set all the traps she wants. It won't save her. My dearest Heydrich, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you this find your path. Love always. Mira.
opponents may be strong, but I will not stand down. Your defenses are nothing. I don't have enough arcane power. My mistress has accepted me. Come close and feel her loving embrace. I don't think I want to meet your mistress.
Please, help me. It's horrible, and she sucks the innards from her victims. Oh, no. No, it's too late. I hear her. The Spider Queen is coming. Spider Queen? like this a moment longer. I'll go mad. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Can we please leave this horrible place? It was terrible being stuck in there like that. Thank the gods you came along. What are you doing out here? I seek a man taken by the Coven. The Coven? I saw them dragging someone into Leoric's manor house. Perhaps it was the man you seek. Uh, you might have a small bit of trouble reaching there, though. I'm not proud of this, but I stole the staff of a powerful Khazra shaman. The Khazra went mad and chased me to the caves. You can find the staff in my cart in the highlands. If you take it to the Khazra barricade, perhaps they will let you pass. These lands once belonged to the crown.
The local Khazra tribes have become a serious threat. They attack caravans and are moving into areas where they haven't been seen before. We need you to take care of this problem for us. We'll pay 25 gold pieces for every Khazra head you bring back. Not ready yet.
you beasts! Let none touch me! <laughs> Magic. What base ritual is this? Using this portal again. A well-deserved death. There is a new piece to the game. A girl named Lua. My spies tell me she is the child of the witch. A fetid, pallid malaise has fallen over the manor we now call. She's unstoppable! She is here! I believe it is time to kill more cultists. Delay her while I prepare her demise in the depths below. did horrible things to us. They have paid for what they did to you. But there was another prisoner, a man in rags. Yes, the man with the golden eyes. I saw Magda take him into Leoric's old torture chambers below us. I will kill Magda for what she's done.
the flesh from her bones. Bravery has not wavered once. I salute you, milady. I am simply following my destiny. I know the feeling. Once queen to our beloved Leoric, my servants and I were consumed by his madness. Now I give you my blessing, champion, to release my people from their eternal torment. Arcane power. so long. Freedom! Thank <laughs> you. 
My guards! There is someone amongst us. Deal with her. Harshly! Servants are now free, but the curse over this place remains. Seek the warden at the door. Am I alone here? Must I do this myself? So be it. Face me and repent your crimes. Need more arcane power. is invaluable in the midst of all these traitors. And you, my dear, my own wife and queen, conspiring against our kingdom. My love, I swear, I have never betrayed you. Lies, until the very end.
be back in Tristram crying over the old man's corpse. She'll soon have another one to cry over. Yours. Meet the Butcher. Fresh meat. Your sword, Angel. My sword. I remember now. I was an archangel of the high heavens. I was the embodiment of justice. I was. I am. Tyriel. You have restored my mind, friend. And now, I remember the warning I came to deliver. Belial and Asmodan, the last lords of hell, are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, Belial's shadow has fallen upon Chaldeum. Belial? I look forward to killing a lord of hell. Should be an interesting battle. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldeum. But how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. Yes, Cain deserves to be honored before we hunt down his killers. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart. My friend. you know about the sacrifice? Tyrion! 
The ancient law of the high heaven strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. You cannot judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. Sacrilege. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldea, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. Here we are, Chaldeum, Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. We need to split up. You two search for Belial while I hunt that witch Magda. Cain's death will not go unanswered. God, where do these refugees come from? I am not a god. I am a Shira, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, but even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. It seems fate has brought us together. I hunt Magda. Do you know where she is? She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. This gate leads to Alcanus. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. Magda will pay for her wickedness. 
Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. They are welcome to try. I have come here to kill them, and their leader. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. There are illusions out there. Mirages to some. But I can see them for what they are. The Coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. I've dealt with these cultists before. Their traps are easily spotted. But my thanks for the warning. Different than anyone we have seen. Stay back. They're in the rocks. Very near to us. Are you certain? The road seems impassable. You should never have come. Demons will feast on your bones. I've missed killing these cultists. Come on then. How did you know about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. I'm no stranger to magic myself. And yours is pretty unusual. What are you really doing out here? Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Captain, from behind! Protect the people! Iron Wolves! If not for you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. Should I expect more Lacuni on the road to Alcanus? Even worse. Cultists are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. There is another illusion here. The cultists tried to hide their footsteps. Their spells are weak and easily countered. If we follow these prints, we can find their lairs and halt the rituals. I will seek out any other traces of their magic. Look! More hidden footprints! This is one of the cultists' lairs. They are casting part of the illusion. The ritual is disrupted! There should be another ritual at a cellar to the east of here. I owe you my life. Hidden footprints. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. The ritual is disrupted. It is with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demons, and even whispering their names seems to poison the air. Tell me, 
What shall you do when Magda is dead? The Lords of Hell, Belial and Asmodan, are plotting an invasion. I will cause them to suffer greatly. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. I think it is time for you to know my true tale. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. You're serious, aren't you? I read about a stasis spell like that once, but I've never tried it. Come with me. It will be nice to have another mage along. Our victory. Now to find the Kasim outpost. You will find it to the north, though it is still some distance away. That is a powerful foe over there. me. A child? Hiding in such a place? Come out. I won't hurt you. I thought you were one of the bad people. Or maybe even a demon. They killed my father, but I won't let them kill what he worked for. He was a great About mother. a week has passed I'm since the cultists found us. Mama told me to hide. I was always good at hiding. No one could ever find me, because I would choose the places where no one wanted to look. And they dragged my parents away. I can still hear them screaming. Lord of Lies is the most elusive of the seven evils and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This began the Burning Hell's civil war, which ended with the- I need you to open the gate. I must reach Alcanus. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Here you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice, a gift from Lord Belial. Sacrifice? Me? Belial set you here as bait to lure me away from his treachery in Chaldeum. No! He would never betray me! Strike her down! Belial is the Lord of Lies, Magda. The truth is, you were dead the minute you killed Kate. Not a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Iron Wolves, take back the town! We've been discovered!
Has Magda reached Alcanus? Yes. We've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then please, open the gate. It is well past time for Magda to die. Magda will soon pay for your death, Deckard Cain. Nothing. Here. Calm yourself. I will get you out of these cages. I'm rescued. Solace, friend. We will free the others. I cannot thank you enough. Fear not. The coven will be vanquished. to hide behind this time. I didn't think you were brave enough to face me in the flesh. It matters not. While you hunted me, Belial's Imperial Guard captured your little witch, Leah. Soon, her power shall be his. Your death came. Be at peace, my friend. She was consumed by shadow. It pains me to see it. I am returning to town. In her final miserable moments, Magda swore that the demon lord Belial would soon rule this world. He'll have to defeat me. First. In her final moments, Magda claimed that the Imperial Guard had captured Leah. At the Kasim outpost, I discovered that these guards are serpent demons under Belial's control. Then they must be holding the Emperor against his will. I tremble to think what Belial might do with Leah and her growing power. 
The only chance we have to rescue Leah is to wrest the Emperor from the grasp of the Imperial Guard. Perhaps a Shira of the Iron Wolves could get us close to the Emperor. I will go speak with her. Conditions out here are deplorable. Something must be done to aid these people. Ashira, the Emperor and my friend are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost in Alkanas. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Captain Ravan, this woman has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well, but I don't think you'll find him receptive. Let them pass! Let's go. I'll lead you to the palace. You are bold to have sought this audience with me. My guards tell me you were responsible for the massacre of innocent villagers in Alcarnus. Do not be taken in by those lies. Alcarnus was the work of servants of Belial. Magda and her coven. If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Let me go! I detest violence. Gods, I leave this matter in your hands. We should leave here, before more guards arrive. Get out of here! I will cover your escape. Thank you. Now we need to get to the sewers. I'll explain why when we get there. Destroy their summoning construct. There has to be a way into the sewers from here. to the sewers. I found my mother, Adria. She's alive. But the Imperial Guard is holding her somewhere down here. We will find her. So Magda was telling the truth. Somehow I knew my mother was alive. Always knew it. But you never knew her. Be wary, Leah. Things are not as they seem sometimes. Feeling 
My exemplary servants, keep the witch alive until she talks. Pain will lose her tongue, but only to a point. Remember what happened with the vizier's assistant. It was a pleasurable time, I admit. But the man had only incoherent babble and bloody strands of pus spilling from his lips by the end. should be up here. Tell us about the Black Soul Stone! We know of the three that the Haradrim used to trap the Primevals. What is the purpose of this one? Your master Belial has good reason to fear it! Leave her alone! Seize them! Leah, my daughter. You know who I am? My darling, I've watched over you all your life. But I never dared get close because of the danger that always shadows me. This is not the time to discuss the past. Let us get to safety. I am returning to town. I'm surprised Cain never told you why I left. He knew I was called to fight the Lords of Hell. And I knew he would keep you safe. He's gone now. Then it's fate that we have been reunited. Cain's work, your work, is my war. According to the Haradric texts, only two evils remain. Belial is here in Chaldeum, and Asmodan has yet to reveal himself. I become more powerful. The guards were asking you about this Black Soul Stone. I remember reading about it in Uncle's journal, but it didn't seem important. No, oh, but it is. It is the key to defeating evil forever. It was created by the mage Zoltan Kuhl to trap demonic souls. Yes, he was a renegade Haradrim, dismembered by his brethren before he could activate the Soul Stone. His head was sealed away in the Dolgar Oasis. We must retrieve it. Because if we're to use the Soul Stone to defeat Belial and Asmodan, Zoltan Kool must live again. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She revealed to us the existence of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy all evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. Murderer. Torturer. Monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kuhl by the Horadrim. Though it cost them dearly, they killed the wizard for his crimes against nature and sealed his broken corpse within a shadow realm. It seems they were afraid he might return. It's disgusting. I've seen that woman going in and out of the sea. Mm. I think we may have a visitor up ahead. Listen to me. I cannot talk for long. But Lyle's guards are constantly watching me. Emperor Hakan? Forgive me for my behavior at court. The guards would have killed me had I sided with you. But I will help you now as I can. You must be headed to the Oasis. I can open this gate for you.
so beautiful. The Valrus manuscript lists Asmodan as the best battlefield commander of all demons. Having defeated the angels many times in the eternal conflict across pandemonium and the prime evils in the demonic civil war. If the Lord of Sin ever assaults our realm, we truly have much to fear. Please help! The, the refugees will make fine slaves, and you will make a fine corpse. You have done something truly noble, warrior. Let me show you why this room is so important. The Imperial Guards were trying to take these refugees. I did not know what to do. You did what was right. That is all that matters. I am not the warrior my father was. Take whatever you want from his chests. Centuries ago, a much smaller Chaldeum depended upon small wells for its water. Then came the mysterious Dalgur, offering Chaldeum an oasis of unparalleled splendor, located in an area previously thought to be desert, asking only that his name be permanently affixed to the land. Then he vanished into the wastes. place to hide the head of a deranged sorcerer. We are in agreement. Ghul, the renegade, must be stopped. He seeks to duplicate the power of the storms and wield it for his own ends. He is obsessed with the powers of heaven and hell. Drawing their attention will only bring doom to us all. was the youngest of the prime evils, but I found him the most dangerous, for his power over terror left him incapable of feeling fear. Though he had easily possessed and corrupted many humans, Diablo's essence was finally trapped in a soul stone and banished to the unfathomable abyss twenty years ago. I am so good, I astound myself.
attack me? Set out in one week's time into the desolate sands to search for Kul's hidden archives. None of us have any idea what to expect. How far has Kul's madness driven him? How much power has he accumulated in his mad quest? I can only hope we are not too late. If you keep holding back, then you'll never improve. It is time. Leah, cast the spell as I taught you. I live again. Sultan Kool. We need you to activate the Black Soul Stone. We would use it to trap the last two Lords of Hell. <laughs> I know your voice, stranger. It has haunted me in death, just as it commanded me in life. Tyriel. I am, but now mortal. Ah, fate is whimsical. I will give you the Black Soul Stone, but in exchange, I must be made whole once again. You were treacherous before. How do I know you won't be an even greater threat once you've been fully revived? You don't. So, you must ask yourself, how much would you risk to save this wretched world? Everything. Ah, so be it. To begin, you will need to retrieve my blood from the dungeons where it has been hidden away. You will find them in the desolate sands beyond the aqueducts. I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. You will not enter the aqueducts, Lord Bill! This can't be opened yet. I can open this gate for you. <laughs> Emperor Hakan? No time for pleasantries. I think I may have uncovered Bilal's assumed identity. I'm very close. But here's what you need to know. To find Kool's blood, we we'll need to get through the aqueduct. There are two levers that control the entrance beneath the waterfall. This place has the characteristic stench of demons. Most disgusting. It's Belial. So long as he lives, all of Chaldeum is under siege. Uncle Deckard feels- The Chaldeum aqueducts were created by order of the Trade Consortium Council after the Dalgar Oasis was discovered three centuries ago. Though Chaldeum had been prosperous for many years, a reliable source of water allowed the city to grow even further. Luxurious public fountains were built to provide safe drinking water for everyone. Whoa! 
coming up. Never. That's one lever down. These aqueducts did not even exist in my own time. Searching for lost artifacts with Uncle Deckard, even though it did have its dangerous side. I can't tell you how many times I had to drag him away from an army of skeletons because he was fixated on some dusty old tapestry. Your grave awaits! Still waiting. myself. That 
passage should lead to the desolate sands. A secret door hidden behind the waterfall. How imaginative. You would do Hello? better. Hello? Is there anyone alive out there? Are you still alive out there? Or is it the monster? Thank you for releasing me. It was getting a little boring in there. Uh, 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 I am seeking a magic crucible that legend says was hidden in these very aqueducts. <laughs> it, it would be a valuable addition to my jeweler's tools. <laughs> Help me find it and I will be greatly indebted to you. <laughs> Oh, how rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Covetous Shen. Were you named by your enemies? What? I can't imagine why my young partner bashed me over the head and sealed me in there. This place is quite dangerous without a knowledgeable guide. And I am to believe that you are such a guide? Oh, yes. I could show you around the world five times and never stub a toe. <laughs> And you thought I was off. These abominations must be crucible! It's mine! Uh, be careful, Gavin. It might be cursed. <gasps> Dear, I... I did warn him. <laughs> uh, the Crucible should be safe now. Uh, <gasps> poor young man. If I had known the Crucible was cursed, I never would have brought him along. <laughs> you go on ahead. I'm going back to town. I need to learn the spell. You and I are the same. But those others, the Fallen Angel, the Witch, they're using you for their own ends. You choose to be their puppet, yet the power of your birthright could make you a god. How goes your divinity, cool? There's no need to be snide. Soon enough, I'll walk this world again. Then I'll show you what a Nephilim can achieve. In here, I can feel my blood nearby. They hid some of it beyond this portal. <laughs> These holes belong to Zoltan Kuhl before they became his prisoner. My studies indicate that a high-level cleric of the Zakarun named Akan began to sense the corruption that was eating away at the heart of his faith. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his beloved church, and that he must take action. After much prayer, Akan hit upon the idea of an Order of Crusaders. I am so good, I astound myself. Nothing. Finally, we 
found Pool's archives. They were strangely empty at first. But Cool laid traps everywhere. Each step hard. And Dariel was the only female evil. She aided the lesser evils for many years, but eventually she lost faith in their plots. Two decades ago, she chose to help Diablo during his resurgence and seize the Citadel of the Sightless Eye. Ultimately, she perished at the hands of brave heroes. Blood is within that cave. I can feel it. Not ready yet. Lays heavily here. Shadows deepen. We must be getting close. Nothing! are at the northern tip of the desolate sand. We, the Zakarum, have endeavored to make Chaldeum a city of mercy and salvation, but we have not yet been able to convince the emperors to change the ancient policy of exile. Prisoners convicted of treason are still sent to the desolate sands to die with nothing but the clothes on their backs.
bags are full. I am so good. I astound myself. anymore. Tristram. My family came from there. That place has had some very bad luck, hasn't it? more time. Fear and anger lie over this place like an ominous shroud. Here is the entrance to my archives. Let me activate the portal. I had to build all of this for my research and my experiments. The Black Soul Stone was a complicated creation. I sacrificed much to make it. Looks like I got here just in time. Emperor Hakan? What are you doing here? Beyond these portals lie two relics that were once powered by my blood. Take the vials you recovered and use them to activate the relics. I will stay here and prepare the ritual. Be careful. Angels are no better than demons. Did you know that they once voted on whether or not to eliminate all of mankind? Only one vote saved us from extinction. That sounds like something Tyrael would have done. Yes. Whatever else he may be, he is the aspect of justice. 
There is no justice in murder. in a golden age, but my heroic brothers could not accept man's true destiny.
coming up. Open this. I will finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the Soul Stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. Cool simply cannot be killed. His cursed blood sustains him. He bleeds sand and his laughter mocks us. There is only one course of action left to us. We will separate his body and his head, and hide the body within the Shadow Realm. Rodrum did all this to lock my body away. Very angry with me. Of course they were. You had to be stopped. <laughs> they were never very imaginative. You dare attack me!
still waiting. Every step. I try to shut him out, but his chattering is ceaseless. He takes joy in talking. I have retrieved Cool's body. Then let me begin the ritual. But I'm warning you, Cool. You'd better not cross us. You are surrounded by deceit, young one. I am the least of your concerns. Concentrate, Leah. Soon now, just a bit longer, just a moment, almost, yes! My blood thunders within me, this fetid air fills my ravaged lungs! I'm alive again. You're welcome. We have done our part. Give us the Soul Stone, Cool. Very well. The bargain stands. Quickly, to my sanctum. Complete my life's work. All will tremble at my power. What is this? How has this happened? The souls of the dead lords of hell have been absorbed into the stone. Abandon your quest, Nephilim. Your allies seek only to control you with the power I offer. You and I could rule over all creation. You are mad, Cool. Give me the stone, or I will destroy you. Thoughts have been triggered. It seems my brothers have finally come looking for me. Damn them. I am not ready. Too much of my pup. Five Lords of Hell now reside within this stone. What are you hiding from us, Adria? Twenty years ago, during the darkening of Tristram, Cain told me of Zoltan Kuhl's profane soul stone. That's why you left me. You went to mark the demon's souls so that they could be drawn into Kuhl's vessel. Yes, my daughter. I have sacrificed everything for this. I need to go back. What happens once we've trapped Belial and Asmodan in the Soul Stone? Then I will shatter it, and the Lords of Hell will be no more. We've got to reach the Emperor. He said he can lead us to Belial. 
Are you certain we can trust the child? We have no choice. But know this. If Belial gets desperate, he will unleash hell upon Chaldeum. So before we face him, we must evacuate the citizens. The Iron Wolves can help. Well said. Let us proceed. Belial has started his attack on the city. Let's go. Ashira is already at the sewers. Hurry! We'll keep you safe! Belial is raining fire down on the city, in a desperate attempt to kill us. When the fireballs began falling from the sky, we started evacuating the people. They will be safe here. We will bring as many down as we can. The Iron Wolves will assist you to the death. I saw people hiding under the carts. Bring them to the sewers. We can't risk our lives on this foolish heroism. We must go to the Emperor. believed it would end like this. I must choose my skill. Down here! We'll protect you! Before it's too late. Ashira is a good woman. She has to know that the Emperor isn't the same sweet child she brought to Chaldeum years ago. She has to act. If Chaldeum falls... It's safe down in the sewer. Now to the gates. We have no time to lose. Let's go. Now, Leah, use your power just the way I taught you and bring down these gates. Stand back. I still can't fully control it. Do not worry about us. Daughter. I, I feel so weak. I, I don't know if I can. You must! Now! The strength lies within you, Leah. 
It is up to you now. Hurry! I must stay here and tend to Leah. Praise Leia. the gods, you've arrived just in time. Show me the soul stone. Oh, you'll see the stone when I trap your rotting soul within it, Belial. Clever, but know this, Nephilim. Asmodan knows of the stone and the power it contains. Even if you defeat me, he will exterminate you and every last one of your misbegotten kind. soul within the stone. It is ironic that one as twisted as Zoltan Cool played so great a role in our salvation. Cool was once a tireless enemy of hell. From his life, let us learn. The longer we fight evil, the more it can corrupt our hearts. I am returning to town. Today is a good day. You have liberated this land and brought low a lord of hell. Enjoy this moment, for tomorrow our war continues. There is no time for rest. Even now, Asmodan plots our destruction. The Lord of Sin is an uncanny tactician. He'll attack us where he believes we'll least expect it. And where defeat would break our will to resist. You are learning well, Leah. Now you must go to Chaldeum's great library, and continue with your uncle's work. New goods today, please. I can be ready to leave at a moment's notice.
Chaldeum is free from Belial and his lies. Now, only Asmodan remains. He sends his army to attack us from the heart of the area crater. Bastion's Keep is all that stands between us and utter defeat. I will not allow it to fall. The Keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered, fleeing before Asmodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the Keep fall, Asmodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. The Keep will stand. I will rally its defenders. Light the signal fires, and show these soldiers that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. The Black Soulstone's getting hotter, straining against me. They're whispering to me from inside. The demons within seek escape. Only your power can keep it from splitting apart, my daughter. It's a heavy burden. But the fate of the world lies in your hands. Yes, Leah can handle this, although it will be very hard on her. Someone's got to light those signal fires. You heard the angel's command. Let the call sound forth. Bastion's keep shall not fall. Clear the walls, tear them down. We saw the signal fire. We must light the rest, but the demons swarm around them.
best there is. We're all going to die. Run! Stand a chance. the hells was that? An illusion to frighten you. We've seen the fires you've lit. Fear has no more hold on us. The catapults could break Asmodan's lines, but we can't raise them from their births while demons swarm over the walls. Don't worry. I'll make sure the catapults are raised. The demons will truly feel fear. Thank the heavens you're here. We're down to four lads until reinforcements arrive. Trouble is, the lift stopped. We can't see what went wrong through all the muck down there. This sounds ominous. Oh, what now? More of the brutes from below, Captain. What do we do? Private, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you haven't been paying attention. Fight to your last breath, lads! The lift is moving again! Hold steady, lads! Reinforcements are on their way! Demons! 
Get ready, men! Victory! going to die. Fight with everything you've got! You must be the one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruits so they can raise this catapult. Over here! Excellent. Let's protect the recruits while they raise the catapult. This ought to send them fleeing back to their pits. Look, just over there. I never imagined such a creature. The battle is lost. There is no hope. Scouts report that more of those wretched demon hell bearers will be here any moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men.
Bloody well alone. Everyone else has gone and died. But I'll be damned if I'll leave my post. Make yourself useful and spin that winch. Mistake. I thought you came over here to help lift this catapult. I didn't realize you were here for the bloody scenery. <laughs> ah. uh, promise Captain Ho I'd watch my temper. Do me a favor and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, all right? Asmodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun with demons. Their corpses should serve to seal the breach after I've killed them all. Demons are in the keep! They're coming up from the depths! To arms! To arms! Choose my skill. been fortunate enough to learn much of the barbarian's complicated history in my time, yet the origins of these large, mighty warriors are hazy at best. Legend holds that they are the offspring of Volkathos, an ancient who embodied their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage.
The demons are insidious. They will stop at nothing in order to seize this keep and all the world with it. myself. Drinking down here. Have you spotted him? No. Ah, he must be another steel.
goes over our path. The demon is here. The one who killed Lord Belial. I will save her, tearing the flesh from your bones. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory, so Tyriel went to investigate. He said if you were to return, I should send you there. I am losing control! Stone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. I will fight my way across the battlefields and descend into Ariat Crater, where he hides. Saved Bastion's Keep. It is time to leave the confines of the Keep and take the fight to Asmodan's war machines upon the open fields. God, you're here. You've got to destroy those ballisti. They're raining hell down upon us. We can't last much longer. You think we're all just waiting around for you to save us, hero? Well, I've secured this post. I don't need your help.
Kavras with great haste. The enemy is strong, but she cannot pass the demon gate. Secure it, or your lives will be forfeit. I could no longer sit idly by while you brought the fight to Asmodan. It has been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. Destroying my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon, they will wipe your pathetic keep from existence. Brave words, Asmodan. But words are all you have left to hurl at us. Forward, friend. Now we shall drive Asmodan's army back into the accursed crater. We worked hard enough to reforge your sword of justice. I look forward to finally seeing you wield it. Let us depart. are dead. And I mean to see these bastards suffer for what they've done. Are you with me? Here they are! Charge! Well, the ones in the skies have finally graced us with their presence. Cut them down! Those worms have come up from behind! Bloody adorable! They're trying to ambush us! That's the last of those shrieking little devils! Kill them all! Well, they're all dead and we're not. I'd call that a win, eh? I'll hold this bridge. Go on. You have a demon lord's head to put on a pike. Be careful, Captain.
warming up. Eldruin will destroy the demonic seal protecting this gate. has had another vision, a vision of twisted demonic towers and enormous hearts beating within them. I know of them. They are the Sin Hearts. Asmodan must have dredged them up from the depths of his realm to empower his legions. Then I will be happy to stop them from beating. gate lies in ruins, while Asmodan has brought hell itself into the crater. I will destroy the Sin Hearts that bring unholy light to his armies, and then face the Lord of Sin himself. You've killed one of my playthings. Now... You have my undivided attention. Maiden of Lust, I have need of your ample services. Drag yourself out of whatever carnal corner of the burning hells you lounge in, and bring your daughters with you. Be wary. The enemy has proven to be both cunning and strong. Coming up.
your time is done. These poor things live in eternal torment. I see. Are you enjoying that company? Your presence pleases me. Every step brings you closer to my embrace. Pain and suffering you're enduring. You must be dying to meet me. the most devout, driven, and martial Zakaruma heavens. He taught them to channel the power of light in the same way that the newly founded paladins were being trained. Still but these recruits, these crusaders, were given it. I cease. Oh, you are so eager. I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Sedea, Maiden of Lips, Consul of Asma. Mm, how invigorating. Play with my daughters. I do not wish to tire you out. I can feel the blood hemorrhaging from the Sin Heart. Oh, you will pay for this. So close now. 
So close. Nothing. Ready yet. <laughs> I do hope you're not in over your head. Why must she be so disgusting? more time. Chains tear at the flesh. Hear their screams. Such sweet music. The prophet would be 
breath on my skin. The anticipation is exquisite. too much. Oh yes, I've been looking forward to this. Why are you trying to hurt? <laughs> Shh! Now you will see what I... I can't pick... Dan's evil thrives and festers. Not for long. within me, I will 
be the sum of all hells. The prime evil. Arrogant Nephilim. Enough! The dark power of hell. Arrogant Nephilim. It. Quickly now, Leah. Trap Asmodan's essence within the Soul Stone. It's done. I never dared dream. All evil lies trapped within that stone. Once it is destroyed, the eternal conflict will finally end. Destroying the stone is no simple matter. There are rituals to consider. We must return to the keep and make our final preparations. My power grows. I am returning to town. An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Leah, and Tyrael? They are all in the armory. No doubt celebrating. You should join them. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last... His grand design comes to fruition. Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel. I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens.
Hydria has betrayed us completely. And Leah's soul is lost. Through her, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. All the powers of hell are his to command. The high heavens tremble, and the angels are helpless before Diablo's assault. Only I remain to set things right. And rid the world of Diablo's evil. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrael. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. Aspect of Valor condemns us. The Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Diablo did this, not you. You did everything in your power to prevent this devastation. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now, humanity has birthed the Prime Evil. Tyrael, you believed in us. You became one of us. Now you must live as a mortal, and surrender your fears to hope. Stay here and wallow in your misery if you like, but I'm going on. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings, indeed. Upon the destruction I have wrought, it will be the last thing you see. Is got to destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. and what will be within the scroll of faith. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Then I shall write my destiny in Diablo's blood. You can watch all of creation burn, or you can help me now. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnarok, the Lord of Despair. I will free her, and then hope will be restored to the heavens. These are the gardens of hope. The archangel fire cannot be fought.
spirit is free now, Angel. Nothing. again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. You can no longer be bound by the chains of fate. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. We will not fail you. was strongest northeast of here. find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. That is not the only Hell Rift. The flow of my legions will not stop.
Expectations, Nephilim, but there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me 
there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day, yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. I knew you were... does not belong here! If I see you again, you will die. Pay him no mind. This is your fight, Nephilim. Your power is even greater than Tyrael foresaw. One can only hope. But now... We must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. Diablo will corrupt the crystal arch atop the Silver Spire, unless he is stopped. Should he succeed, heaven will fall. Everything has led to this moment. Tyrael and I will fight our way to the summit, where I will finally face Diablo. is thicker here. Though I forsook my home, to see it again like this, any joy I might... How does it feel, knowing you helped me become the prime evil? For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing me upon the world. Some savior you are, Nephilim. Diablo is climbing the spire to the Crystal Arch. We must hurry. You killed me without a second thought when I was no longer of use to you. How damn those who helped you. This is not real.
not ready yet. It is not far now. I only hope we are not too late. The Angeris Council is no better than the prime evils themselves. We are just pawns in their cruel games. And now you help the worst of them all. Kane would never say that. Diablo has wrought. We do not stop you. This is the future of all creation. Still waiting.
these halls in all their majesty. We thought ourselves the masters of all creation. Our arrogance was our downfall. <laughs> I see you did not heed my warning. Or perhaps you think yourself strong enough to face me! Let's find out, shall we? Imperius, stop this madness! Diablo is the enemy here, not the Nephilim! Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough! I will... What is this? No. Diablo has begun extinguishing the Crystal Arch. That's why the angels have fallen. If its light should go out forever, we must defeat Diablo before that happens. It's down to us mortals, Tyrion. It is fortunate you gave up your wings. Diablo's vile corruption bars our path. Stand back. Eldruin's light shall clear the way. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. This last trial is yours alone. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Tyrael. It was an honor. But this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory.
day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. I would not be so certain. True evil never really dies, does it? Time will tell. Diablo was defeated. For a time it seemed we would know peace. But it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Done well, Horadrum. Your service here is finished. And you should all. run. Malfail. The rumors are everywhere. Angels stalk the city of Westmarch, killing everyone, strong and weak, noble and commoner alike. I do not know what these angels want, and I do not care. These reapers think that no one can stand against them. I will show them the error of their beliefs, and remind them that they should fear me.
Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. I think not. People are dying down there. They need my help. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. Tell Tyriel I will meet him in Westmarch. Go! It will be done. I swear it. We're going to die! She's coming to kill us all! No! The gates! These gates are bound by a spell I cannot break. to the streets. All right. It's the end of the world. So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. But are there any survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakaroon Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait! You're the wizard who saved Bastion's Keep. You'll save us too, won't you? Of course. It's what I do. Keep moving! I think we lost her! No! No! Those with demon blood must die. Demon blood? They were just innocent people! Reapers. Need more time. Ah, we found you. Tyrael, why is Malthael so intent on destroying this city? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malfail believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. Though we are descended from angels as well as demons, Malfail is so short-sighted, he can only see our demonic heritage. The church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akrat's Bane! This is worse than I feared! What are these things? A death maiden! Stop her! Nebula, your soul will be... We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection... Just tell me where to find Malthael, and I'll put an end to this carnage. I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. But why does he want the stone? Is there any way to find out? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. You'd best get started on figuring it out. If you need me, I'll be saving the city.
General Torian, that death maiden in the cathedral was using an arcane magic unfamiliar to me. Do you know what she was doing? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthale's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. So, Crucibles, with two of them, Malthale has an endless supply of soldiers. Not for long. He will soon find himself without his unending army, once I destroy these Crucibles. Friends! This is all Justinian's fault! Some king he is! Justinian must have fled the city by now. It's time for the people to rise up! Don't be a fool. The only chance you have is to all work together. But this is our chance to get out from under the king's yoke! Thanks for helping, but this isn't over. The king has failed us all. If you don't believe me, read this. His private journal. And what are you doing with the king's private journal? Well, let's just say it's from someone who cares about us common folk. I'm so weary. Why did you have to die, brother? I was never meant to be king. The nobles threaten revolt to bend me to their will. They will abandon me if I don't keep the peasants in their place. Oh, my position is hopeless. They'll reach the survivors soon. We've been here for days. These people can't last much longer. Escort them to the survivors enclave. Immediately. Still waiting. To my snivelling offspring, if you are reading this, then I am dead, and you have come to claim my fortune. Well, you still can't have it! I have set traps to stop you from even trying. Enjoy the rest of your poor, miserable, and cowardly lives. I didn't see that coming, did you? Too 
too clean for Reaper kills. So who did this? What? More dead? Death to the nobles! What is this? Revolution! It's time for our oppressors to fall. The king is in the city, but we have a trap waiting for him. I hate to question your genius plan, but it seems like a very bad time to depose your king. What? You're not with us? Then die with our enemies! Some of my men are pinned down in the courtyard, fighting revenants. Please help me rescue them. Do you know why this is happening? It's madness! Just get your men to the survivor's enclave at the cathedral as quickly as possible. yet. Need more time. Still waiting.
hours of my pleading, the Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malfiel. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the high heavens. Owing to Malfiel's growing fascination... That Death Maiden controls the Soul Crucible. Time for her to die. Darkness down upon you. Thank you. I knew you would arrive in time to save me. How could you know that? I am Miriam Jazia, a seer of the Vetchen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the Maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. Malfael, he's watching you. find Malfiel on Sanctuary, but I did find humans. Far too many of You should cease following me, and get to the Survivor's Enclave before you're killed. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say, I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes, if I am ever to sleep again. My power grows. I see you have much guilt over Leah's fate. So you know of Leah, do you? I see the past as well as the future. You must not let it consume me. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine once I kill Adria. Such the artist when it comes to dispatching Death's minions. Don't mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. That would be Urzael. And just who is this Urzael? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. Good. Let's get to the Enclave. I need to see if Tyriel has made any progress. I am returning to town. Changing. Malthael is altering the stone in some manner. Exactly. He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? If we want to stop him, we must know what he's going to do next. Urzael has done this to finish.
finish collecting the souls of Westmarch. Urzael, it is well past time for him to die. Where is he? All I know is that he is in a tower somewhere in the Westmarch Heights, and that he will be quite rude to you. Before more time. Not ready yet. Master has begun his work on the stone. Nothing that you do matters. Soon demons spawn like you will be gone forever. Are you finished? 
No one threatens my people. No one. The demon spawn shall perish in flames. I have rid us of Urzael's tiresome existence. Without his leadership, the Reaper should be easy for Torian's men to finish off. You have saved Westmarch, my friend. But we're no closer to knowing Malthale's ultimate plan, and he grows stronger with each passing moment. Time is running out. That strange woman you brought here believes she can help. She insisted on speaking with you immediately. I know how to find Malthale, but you will not like what I have to tell you. I rarely do. Why don't you just tell me? There is only one person who knows how to find Malthale. She waits for you in the blood marsh, and you know her well. Adria. Adria. Finally. You're not going anywhere without me. Oh, really? And why is that? Someone has to make sure you don't kill Adria before you find out where Malthael is. I shall try to restrain myself. But make no mistake, she will die. I have delivered the city of Westmarch from Urzael and his Reapers. The people are now free to rebuild their homes and their lives. Lorath and I depart for the Blood Marsh to find Adria. She, of all people, knows how to locate Malthael. I will take great joy in extracting that information before I kill her. We hid the Black Soul Stone in the deepest part of the Nephilim ruins near here. I thought it would be safe, but Malthael found it all the same. Still waiting. This is the entrance to the tomb, but someone's collapsed it. Our friend Adria. It looks like we'll have to find another way into the ruins. What was that? Something is coming. was just one entrance to the city. There are guide stones littered across the blood marsh that will lead us to the main one. The guide stones are useless to most. You reveal the correct path to a Nephilim such as yourself. You on, Adria, but I will find you. Remember to get the information we need before- The first time I saw a witch, she burned. Father took me to the town square to see it. Look, he said, that is the face of evil. But she looked like any other woman. This is one of the guide stones. But nothing happens when I approach it. Please, allow me. There are four entrances to the Nephilim city, each one etched with a sigil. Only the correct one marks the true entrance to the tomb, however. 
When you activate these stones, one of the wrong sigils disappears. My father could never understand. He was born into privilege and wealth, and he spent every moment Need of his time. life trying to protect it. I was his flesh and blood, but he cared more. I must find another guide stone to determine which sigil is the correct one. Not ready yet. Need more time. This passage does not lead to Corvus. know if this is the right passage. Not ready yet. Your defenses are nothing. Now I know which sigil marks the correct passage. Still waiting. An ancient tome in whose pages is recorded an impossible tale. The secret history of a race called the Nephilim, gods by another name, and their ruined civilization in the West. If this is true, how could all signs of these Nephilim be lost but for the record of this single tome? Did you? 
heaven and not God, but our own ancestors, gifted with long life, magic, and abilities far beyond ours. Yet they were still men. I, I wonder if these pages hold the key to unlock their powers once again. as you go. We will speak again when it is finished. You're going to kill her, aren't you? Yet. I will bring the light of Zakarum to the heathens. Here in the east, the power of Zakarum wanes, but in the west, it will rise, stronger and greater than ever. Yet I have another purpose. The lost Nephilim city of Corvus lies in the west. I will find it. Founded a settlement near the Western Sea. It will grow to be a great city in time. Now that my people are settled, I can begin my own search for the ruins of the Nephilim city, Corvus. The tome implied that it was near this very region.
defenses are nothing. Still waiting. You've been hiding, Malfiel. Adria. The angels will never suffer us to live. They cannot accept the fact that we may choose our own path. At least demons are not so rigid in their beliefs. what I can to ensure it. He always finds a way. In your heart of hearts, you know this. Before she died, Adria conjured an image of pandemonium. She was searching for Malfael, so he must be there. I need to go back. I am returning to town. I have discovered that Malthael is in Pandemonium. No doubt he has gone to the fortress. Malthael can hold out there until the end of time. He is forcing us to come to him. He hides and waits. Hoping that if he can delay us long enough, he will grow too powerful even for me. The only way to Pandemonium is through the High Heavens. Let us leave at once. What is this? Destroy the gate! The Nephilim is here! to attack us? Malfael is my brother. I fought a thousand battles by his side, and I care not that he seeks to destroy you and your kind. But my brother has grown sick, and he must be put down for his own sake. Yet I have not the heart to do this. And so it falls to you. Come, Nephilim, to Pandemonium. Malthael's attempt to keep me from entering Pandemonium simply confirms that he is still unwilling to face me. Now I must cross this blighted wasteland, site of a thousand battles between Angel and Demon. The Angel of Death awaits me in the Pandemonium Fortress on the other side. He will not be waiting long. Like 
someone calling my name. There is a siege camp not far from here. Meet me there, and I will show you what must be done. without the siege rooms that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. You will find them on the battlefield below, in prison along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the rooms, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Even if you release Malfeo from his madness, I will not thank you for it. Of course you won't. That's part of your charm. have turned cold. I 
am so desperate to escape the demons. But whatever is in the fortress may be worse. Something we can use! Long ago, this weapon was used to bring down a mighty siege beast and its demon master. Even now, the device maintains its power. Sadly, the weapon now attacks us as well as our enemies. We can use it in this fight, though, if we can regain control of it. created in response to a siege on the Pandemonium Fortress by Kurikos, a demon lord who rode a monstrous siege beast. At great cost to ourselves, we channeled much energy into the great weapon and succeeded in bringing down Kurikos and his mount. Upon his death, the demon was drawn inexplicably into the weapon and it has been attacking us ever since. more time.
Not ready yet. Do I know of the Realm Walker? Very little. It roams the outskirts of Pandemonium, a lumbering giant with a gaping hollow at its core. Somehow, it can hide its body away, disguising itself as a mere portal. Those who pass through it are trapped in a distant world, never to be seen again. Thank <laughs> you. 
They are grave news, my friend. The Sliver has revealed Malvale's plan to me, and it is worse than I could have imagined. He means to use the Black Soul Stone to capture all demonic essences, even those that linger in human hearts. If the stone is altered to rip the demonic essence out of every man, woman, and child on Sanctuary, they will all die. No, we can still stop him. And we begin by attacking the fortress. Malfail is fundamentally altering the Black Soul Stone. It will now pull in all the demonic essence from whatever plane of existence it finds itself in. But mankind is born of angel and demon alike. Every mortal, save myself, has demonic essence as an intrinsic part of their being. Losing that will rip their body and soul apart. We can't move until they're gone. Attack the hooks. One last strike. have been destroyed. Pandemonium Fortress. When I fought Malthale, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. Your magic is not enough. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death, as he does. The spirits gathered below could be the key to that, couldn't they? The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malveil is, and you could face him. But you must find a way, quickly. Every moment, thousands die, and Malveil's power grows beyond anything I have ever seen. I did not think I would ever see you again. That voice, could it really be my old master? Or is this some trick? This time we both saw her. In his current state, I cannot harm him. You have learned much since I last saw you, including humility, it seems. I often long for the days we spent exploring magic. I remember those days with fondness as well, but I have nothing left to teach you. Nevertheless, you will always be my friend. And you need not ask for my help. It is yours. Myself and the other captured spirits have much power, but not enough for us to break free. If you release us, we may aid you. So...
can't pick up anything else. I need to go back. I slew demons beyond count. I won battles and broke sieges that have made me nothing. I know that this war can have no victor, only an eternity of revenge, pride, and hatred. Tyrael does not understand. He cannot see beyond the glory of battle. In time he may, but that day is not yet here. more time. There must be others who seek a way out of the endless Don't strife. Wait. Angels and demons who feel enslaved by our fate. I cannot be unique in all of creation. I know my path. I will find those disillusioned of the war and lead them. My father is content to fight the same battles and the same foes while everything turns to ashes. Though his victories might last a day, or a year, or a hundred years, the war will never be won so long as he bears his brother's lead. There is an end to it. Fools like my father are too blind to see. creation stands revealed to me. Is this what it means to be dead? You are not dead. You now occupy the same state that Malthael does. That means I can hurt him badly. <laughs> you sound again as I remember you. Yes, you are ready. And you have the means to destroy Malthael. But do not forget all that you have learned upon your journey. We need you. The world needs you. Don't give up! 
Come up now! It's almost dead!
Need more time. Malfail destroyed it, and consumed Diablo's soul. Then Malfail's death will have released Diablo. He is free. had done the impossible. By conquering death, she had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. She is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a wizard who protects the innocent. But within her beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will she have the strength to resist or will she be our doom?